you for that. We're checking in with Mike Castellucci right now. He's in Sorrento Valley with a San Diego company helping the U.S. become less dependent on foreign oil. Explain yourself, Mike. Oh, this is incredible, uh, David. And as I uh, learn more, as you will in the next couple of minutes, it's uh, it's just uh, it's like, why haven't we done this before? You know, first of all, uh, this man was uh, shooting at some food and up through the ground come a bubble and crude. Well, that's the way Jed Clampett did it uh, back at the Beverly Hillbillies, and then he found oil. Uh, but that's a little harder to do in uh, realistic terms, isn't it? Uh, George is here uh, with Ground Metrics. This is a brand new San Diego company, as you said, David, uh, just a couple of years old. Uh, and what they do is they find oil and uh, make it easier. I'm telling you, big oil companies, you've got to pay attention to this, uh, what George has to say. George, tell us what you're – actually, it's just this right here, huh? That's the uh, tell us about it. Okay, so this is an electromagnetic sensor, and it's designed to help see deep underground. So essentially, it listens to the electric waves and allows people that understand how to analyze the data to look at it and find where the oil and gas and water fluids are deep below the ground in existing oil wells. This is new technology. Tell, explain how uh, old technology worked and then how yours now works. Sure. The technology that's been available to date has, and for decades, requires that you put sensors down the oil well itself. Mm -hmm. And then it allows you to see about 100 feet away from the oil well in all directions. Okay. And for fields that are big enough that it's worth putting more money, technology, and know-how at extracting more oil, you can put sensors down both boreholes as long as they're within a quarter mile of each other and see line of sight. Okay. So what's different about ours is that you can place our sensors on the surface all around an oil well and see up to five miles away from the oil well in all directions. And this allows you to see more of the field so you can go in and extract more of the oil and gas that's been left behind during production. Okay, you, you mentioned uh, the oil and gas that's left behind. As you look at, basically this is the surface and you recognize these little uh, oil wells. Actually, they pump water down into the, the well. But, uh, and then the oil field down here. But George, is it correct that uh, when someone goes in to drill that something like 50%, maybe even two thirds of the oil remains down there after they finished? Yes, on average, they leave two thirds of the oil in the ground. And again, when it's a big enough field where they want to put more effort into extracting more of the oil, then they can get upwards of 50% of the oil out of the ground. Uh -huh. and, uh, and so these sensors, we're looking at them right now, the thing that we're just holding in our hands, uh, you place these around and you're able to see a great distance. Right. Essentially, they're like night vision goggles for the underground. Okay, very good. Uh, there you go. And by the way, uh, David and Alexis, uh, George Eiskamp here and uh, Ground Metrics just won an award, and we'll show it to you and talk a little bit more about this and what it means uh, for us in oil production. It's coming up in just a little bit. For now, we'll send it back to you. Another great hidden jewel of San Diego. You, Absolutely. So many small businesses that have a lot to do with helping this country. All right. Indeed. Thank okay. you so much for mm -hmm. that.